We're doing another Atomic POV because he pops off again this game. Uh, last game, if you didn't see the scoreboard, basically Atomic and Chicago did a lot of the heavy lifting. JNAP's just uh, chilling. Um, Team Queso had a pretty well-rounded like score board statistically wise for those who do care. Uh, yeah, anyways, game six, Neo Tokyo. So that must mean it's a uh, 3-2 G2, right, right. And off rip, we have this goal. Um, one thing I was really impressed with, okay, so JNAPS is downfield right now, rotating back, is Chicago turning around to get the pass off. He challenges this ball and stays with it. I, I thought that was really interesting. He turns around and then infield passes it. Atomic passes it up to JNAPS, and then JNAPS just stays there, gets the perfect shot. And that's just, they gotta be so hyped. You notice all the cars standing still, everyone like fist bumping and shit like that. I love that, bro, so much. Hey, they gotta be getting hella hyped, man. But yeah, 0-1. Very early in the game. Team Queso can still fight back. I didn't see much from, uh... Did I see much from Vatira? I thought Rise was, like, the super MVP this series for Team Queso. I didn't really see, like, too much out of Vatira, but I could be tripping. Yeah, a little, uh... A little... I don't know what happened to, uh, Team Queso here. It looks like Rise wanted to pass to Vatira, but Atomic's there to cut it off and no one's home. I think, um, like, Joyo went for that corner boost. I saw that. He has 20. Yeah, I, I don't know. What, uh, I don't know what needs to happen here. Everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Like, Rise hit this and then didn't go back to net, I guess. Even though I feel like that wasn't even his responsibility. Vatira had 100 boost here. Maybe the touch itself from Rise. Maybe that's what we should look at. Let's, uh, let's see it. Yeah, yeah, he popped it up too high. He had to hit it, like, more downfield or to the right to Vatira. I'm gonna go ahead and say that touch was, uh, like, subpar. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Atomic POV. And, uh, keep watching. So much of this series was insane, man. I wish I could go over, like, every single replay. Who knows? Maybe in the next couple of days I will watch, like, some of these other games when, uh, I have nothing else to do. Because I love watching these, and it's just so interesting. Atomic with a big challenge here, real quick. I guess you don't call this a challenge, but he follows this up. Let's Vatira hit it, because he knows he's not going to do shit with it. So he just bumps him instead. Chicago with the freest ball of all time. Actually, maybe not the greatest play he does with it. Just bangs it downfield. But hey, G2. That uh, That's what they try to do. They hit it to each other. Sometimes they hit it to nobody, and that's all right. At least they're, you know, clearing the ball keeping the boost healthy by uh, allowing them to get their own space on their end and uh, collecting their own boost without people just running around and getting it stolen from them. Because when you dribble and shit like that all the time, I feel like you're so prone to getting like boost arc if it's not working out. Whereas when you're hitting the ball downfield and to each other, like not only is your team going to be like moving around fluently collecting the boost, but the other team has to be really respectful of what happens. So... They can't really run around your side and get your boost. Uh, yeah. JNAP sends it on their end. Atomic going to go for a read here. He actually doesn't get it, but Vatira has his respect, obviously. So he jumps for it to try and get a block. And uh, this could be a goal. No, it is not. Chicago doesn't send that. Um, he, just, he just didn't want to, bro. They're, they are up 2-0. I think this is a smart play. But if they're down here, 100 boost, you probably send that. But yeah, very, very high IQ by him to uh, just kind of chill with that. And they could get a goal out of this. He sends it right back to their side. Going to go ahead and switch back to the Atomic POV. 100 boost, waiting back. Joyo sends it downfield to JNAPS, who receives. Really good touch from uh, Atomic to just hit that back to JNAPS. And JNAPS just sends it away again. They're not afraid to do this. Chicago goes by himself. Looks a little sketchy, but JNAPS is the greatest third man on this team. Uh, I think Gretel said that too in that one G2 video, but I you you can easily see that one. Like, if there's a third man on this G2 roster, gotta be JNAPS, man. Every time, like, Atomic can be second man and can cut, he plays that second man role. Every time, like, someone's back, I feel like it is JNAPS. And uh, actually, Atomic here, um, this was not his fault, though. I remember uh, watching this live. And thinking Chicago, we gotta hit this. It, he just whiffs. Um, he's got a ton of boosts, and all this was fine. 
and he would have been fine to this ball. Like, he, he easily beats Joyo, obviously, as we can see right there, but he just misses. I think he was, like, kind of worried about playing Joyo's, like, touch. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe he thought Joyo was going to get there, and he was trying to, like, block it. Or maybe he just straight up whiffed, but... Regardless, uh, Atomic obviously trusted that Chicago was getting a touch there. That's why Atomic was so pushed up. And yeah, that ends up being a goal for Team K. So 2-1. So two, 2 minutes and 19 seconds left in this game. It's going to be a good one. We got 5 shots from the Queso side. 4 from G2 Army. Hashtag. Atomic with a double touch maybe. A rise there to clear it away. I love this trail that uh, Atomic uses on this free set. Oh, look at this play. So beautiful. So beautiful, man. JNAPS is first man here, technically, right? And I think he just, like, he doesn't do anything crazy. He just hits that ball. He just hits it. Vatir hits it back. But JNAPS keeps, like, they're all rotating in that big ass circle. JNAPS gets the demo on the last man. Atomic has an opportunity to stay up for the pass from Chicago. Chicago does hit atomic and then that's just wide open like that is just utilizing all three members of the team perfectly no air dribble shit or whatever just demo opens it up pass infield like they, they make it look so easy man and this is like this is i don't know it's fun to watch i love watching that but uh 100 boost Ooh, that was a good save that was a really good save. What the fuck? Because Joyo's up there, and he's scoring this. I promise you, he's scoring this. Like, yeah, we, you can see in that little, like, fraction of a second, like, this was going in for sure. Right? Atomic hasn't hit this yet. I don't think, at least. I mean, that ball looks like it's going in. But, uh, yeah, Atomic able to get the block. As you can see, the orange trail on the ball. Really loud car outside. And, uh, 3-1. Kind of sucks. Queso didn't get a goal there. But we play on. Atomic actually going to try and dribble this. Couldn't really get a pass out to Chicago. But Chicago there to try and shoot the shot. Atomic with a wild turn here. But not a bad play at all. If it was any better, it could have forced Joyo to get the ball away to JNAPS, who's waiting his third man like we talked about. And that ended up happen happening anyways. So uh, good defense out of this G2 squad. Chicago over to Atomic. This play is, is insane to me. It wasn't like anything crazy mechanically wise, but I just want to take a look at it. And they're up 4-1. They got to be feeling pretty good right now. They win this game. They win it all. Um, Look at uh who the last man was. Like, this shit was so weird to me. He Like, Atomic's moving to the left. JNAPS is kind of moving to the left. And Chicago's last, right? Chicago hits it out to the corner to Atomic, and then, like, JNAPS is just fucking going downfield. He, he was, like, looking for someone to demo, I'm pretty sure. Like, maybe he accidentally makes Vatira jump? This was such a weird play. Yeah, bro. I think JNAPS, like, accidentally made Vatira panic there. And if Vatira turns left and tries to fake child, JNAPS is probably demoing him. I don't know if this is intentional. Like, obviously, JNAV's driving out there. His intentions are probably to try and get a kill or maybe just get the boost. But, like, he was probably trying to demo someone if they were, like, all the way back. Like, right here when he goes on no ball cam, he's probably thinking, all right, let me go find someone to kill since Atomic has the dribble. But little does he know, like, Vatira already went. JNAV's already did his job of, like, making him weird. And right, it's just open. I don't know, that play was just so goofy, but it was, like, beautiful. And it could be a combo of Queso kind of crumbling, too. Matir maybe, uh, like, sending a crazy challenge. I don't know. Not much you can do at this, that point, right? Like, if you do turn, like we said, Matir probably just gets demoed. And, uh, Joyo took this shot, which wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't a strong shot, which was unfortunate. But let's look at Rise. Ryze has got to start going back, I would think. Yeah, he's just kind of chasing the whole, the whole time. Like, this is like a classic, like, rotate back moment. But that pass from Chicago to Atomic made the play, like, he was never able to catch up to it. If Chicago was holding on to the ball this whole time and Atomic wasn't there for the pass, like, Ryze would be fine. But the fact that Atomic's there to receive that, he can never catch up to this play. 
That's just such a G2 play, bro. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 4-1. This is uh, all G2 in this game, it looks like. Absolutely insane times we live in. Atomic with a pretty good touch there. And the clear away. Beautiful draw from him. Shane Apps. Gets a flip. Keeps it in front of him. Chicago there to shoot. Good save by Vatir. Maybe Atomic passes this mid. He actually just fakes it. Taps it back. They don't need anything crazy. It's the play call right there. Chicago up to intercept from Joyo. Atomic actually dead, but JNAPS is back to pin that into his corner. And 20 seconds left. Everybody on that G2 bench is cheesing, I assure you. Atomic with the huge block. Another 50. The clock is ticking. So time is expiring. 10 seconds left. Atomic grabs his corner. There's virtually no way for Casey to win this game. Everyone's going to start going AFK in just a second here. Atomic with the touch. And nobody moving. One last look from the fly POV. <laughs> Bro, they're just celebrating, man. It's so funny to see. Like, what a series. What a what a week, week and weekend of Rocket League. That was so fun to watch, man. Like, I was so excited to see that. I think they hit, like, 200,000 viewers on Twitch, which is nice. And, yeah. I don't know. There's so much more to talk about in future videos. But for now, this video is long as fuck, so I'm just going to cut it off here. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for the support. Comment your thoughts below, and I'll get to as many as you as I can. Love you all. Have a good day. Peace.